Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. We're at the University of Portland, and we're so glad to have you with us. I'm Ken Ackerman. You know, since 1999, the ChemoPal program with the Children's Cancer Association has served an average of about 250 kids per year. Please welcome Jennifer Alibrand. She's a mentor, and also Dixie White, who let's call you a mentee. How's that? Does that sound good? Yes, it does. Now, let's start with, um, with Jennifer. Jennifer, you, you work in cancer research up at OHSU, right? That's correct. Now, this has got to be a unique way of doing research because you have, it's not theoretical, it's not from books, it's not, you're working hands-on. Was that part of your mindset going into this? It was not. I started off doing research and sort of found myself wondering what I was doing, what was that connection, and I started realizing that there were opportunities to be with children who were going through cancer and see that side of um, things that I don't ever see every day in the lab. So this was a great way for me to connect my work to the clinic and, and why I go back to work every day. And in the summers, you, you volunteer at camp? Yes, I've been part of cancer camps. I just came back last week from my sixth, sixth year of doing a cancer camp um, in Montana um, for all ages. All right, so now, Dixie, when you first learned of this program, what were you expecting? What did you think a mentor would be? Somebody that comes in and tries to help me get through chemo without me, like, I don't know, being happy through it all mm -hmm. and having fun while doing it. Did it turn out to be better than you thought? Yes, very much so. So what, is Jen what do you and Jennifer do? What's the most fun that you have? We sometimes go to blazer games and do things outside of chemo to get my mind off of things. Um, we go, when we go into chemo, she brings this really big bag full of activities to do. And we, do, we play games like Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. We do s a bunch of stuff with sparkles. And we l just like talking. Ten years old? Are you sure you're ten years old? You're very articulate, and I'm sure you've been told that before. Um, so, Jennifer, a lot of people, and you know that I was a, a chemo pal, mm -hmm. a lot of people asked me, and I thought myself, how can I do this? Mm -hmm. I've got my own child, but you really, you really don't know what you're capable of until you do it, right? Yes, and I think the biggest thing I tell people is that they're just kids. I'm going to play games. We're playing board games and making crafts just like you would do outside the hospital. And yes, they're in a situation where they are going through chemotherapy, whatever it might be, but we're still just mm -hmm. having fun and hanging out. And Langer Hans cell histiocytosis, how is that? Yes, that is correct. And what's the longer name? Eosinophilic granuloma. Okay, I'm not gonna say that, <laughs> but can you explain what that is? It's pretty much masses that can occur on the skull, the jaw, or longer bones like the femur. And I got two on my skull, right in the same spot, right here. And how are you doing now? I'd say I'm doing pretty well, um, going in for chemo once every three weeks to treat it. Mm -hmm. And we're hoping by the end of this, they'll be all gone. And how, how is it for you? Because I remember what it was like when my little man was going through chemo and being there with them. How, how is that experience for you? It's good. Like I said earlier, it really gives me exposure to the clinic to see more what the kids are going through. And it's great just to be there with Dixie and like when the nurses come in, if she gets nervous to just distract her with games or um, just talking, just taking that fear away from waiting, that yeah. anticipation of the doctor coming through the door. Do you still get nervous? Yes. Less nervous that Jen's around? It's still pretty scary. <laughs> it's still yeah, pretty it's scary. still pretty scary, but yeah. it's nice to have her there. The part that I really like is not only is it helping Dixie, it allows the families to also take mm -hmm. an opportunity to walk away and go for a walk, go get coffee, talk yeah. to the doctors without the children, child being around. Um, so that, I think, is also a unique component of the program. All right, and we've got all the information. JoyRx.org is the place to go for more information. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Make it a great day, everyone. Thanks for joining us on Comcast News.